Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with a fake Grand Order video. What are we going to be talking about today? Well, originally I was going to go over the grill front, and then I realized that the maintenance is going to be at 1, so the grill front is going to be out by the time I've already recorded this video. You didn't have time, didn't expect it to come in this soon. So today's video, we're going to be talking about the P the banner that is already out, and I think the other banner that should be coming out pretty soon. Uh, this is funny, because on NA, this banner is going to be coming out first, before the other one that's supposed to be coming out, which is the Sherlock banner. <laughs> In JP, Sherlock came first, and then five days later, the Grail Front started. Uh, so that's going to be today's video. Let's go right into it. If you're curious about the Grail Front itself, the Grail Front is basically like a... It's like a... If you fight on a grid, it's typically solo battles. You need to have cleared Solomon to do it. Um, the the event should already be out. So if you're at Solomon, you should be able to do it. There be, They made changes to it, but at this point, I may as well just actually record a video of me playing the Grail Front and deal with it that way. <laughs> but the Grail Front uh, is a different kind of event that apparently some people don't like. I remember hearing from a decent amount of people... Because every time I bring up the grill front, they're like, I hate the grill front. And I think it's because people only build certain units or certain things. But either way, that's enough about that. Let's talk about the unit that's going to be coming with the grill front. Because it's going to be Janako. And then later on, it's going to be BB Summer. So something to keep in mind. Um, if you're wondering, hey, yo, which one should I go for? But here you go, Janako. I'm going to start with her because she's the one that's going to be here today. Janako, she is um, uh, a moon cancer. Uh, she also goes by the name Great Statue God. She has one quick, three arts, one buster. Four hits on the quick, four hits on buster, four hits on, bus on arts as well, and five hit on extra. Her first skill is the Prosperous Business A, charges party's MP gauge, increases party's attack for three turns, and then grants party five critical star regeneration buff every turn for three turns. 20% to MP, 20% to attack, and a cooldown of six. Her second skill, which is the Severed Tusk B, 500% chance to draw attention to all enemies to self by 300% for one single turn. Reduces his own damage taken by 1,000 for one turn. Increases his own attack for three turns. And then 30% attack on a cooldown of five. And her third skill, which eventually gets a buff with her interlude, which I believe shows up during Lost, yeah, the Road to Lost Belt 7 campaign, should be coming up soon. So this is going to be upcoming. Um, but right now, it grants one ally invincibility for one turn, increases MP generation rate for one turn, and then seal their skills for one turn, demerit. And the MP rate is 30% of the cooldown is 5. Now after the buff, it grants one ally's invincibility and the MP generation still, and then it also increases their MP damage for 3 turns, and then increases their damage against lawful alignment for 3 turns, and then seal their skills for a single turn, demerit. MP rate is 30%. As well as the damage, the MP damage, and then the damage versus lawful is 50%, and the cooldown is 5. Magic Resistance A, uh, her passive skills are Magic Resistance A, Writing A, and Divinity B. Her third skill, uh, her third append skill, is an Anti-Lancer Attack Damage Aptitude. And then her Noble Phantasm is the Ganesh Impact. Um, very close to kind of Genshin Impact, now that I think about it. I don't remember when this... When did Janak was Genshin Impact out? When obviously not on JP, but on NA did it? I don't know. Anyway, oh human bullet, take it seriously from tomorrow. It's an anti-unit rank C noble phantasm. Hits three times. Deal reduces all enemies' defense for three turns uh, by 30% for three turns. Deals damage to all enemies and then grants self invincibility for a single turn. It's 450% damage at MP level one, and if you get it all the way to MP level five, it's 750%. Uh, it then recovers on HP. Uh, charge at charge level one, it's uh, 2,000 HP healed, and then if you get it all the way to the final charge level, it's 6,000, and that's Janako. Uh, Janako is a very interesting unit. Um, she offers something very different. She's kind of like a support unit without actually being the typical, like, yo, Buster Arts doing this. She offers a little bit of support in terms of giving some MP gauge, giving some attack, giving some crit stars. Giving the ability to give as someone invincibility for the turn, and then if you want to give it to her, then that will increase her MP generation rate, and that will also help with some other stuff, because she does have three arch cards, so she can take advantage of it, and her MP is arts itself. Um, she does an increase to, to damage for three turns, and then also if you fight lawful alignments, which is the bonus thing that they added, which is really nice, 
you do just a little bit more damage. Um, so it makes her a very interesting kind of support unit, especially when she does get that buff, which is going to be sometime this year, which will give her bonus damage against lawful alignment foes. That means that uh, she can be a funny pick against anyone who's lawful. Uh, the problem is, is that she's Moon Cancer, so that means typically Moon Cancers deal less damage and they need a little bit more help uh, making up for it, basically. So even though she is Arts, for example, and even though I think she's giving herself 30% NP rate, I think it might actually be a little bit tough to potentially try and loop with her. You probably would have to do Double Castoria and then a third one there just to kind of help, I assume. I actually have Janako, but I don't really use her for that purpose because I think she's actually better suited for a defensive kind of support in a challenge quest type scenario. The reason I also say that is because even though she's AoE, the, off the, the the thing she does do bonus damage against is Avengers. And you will never fight event. you'll never find- I don't think there's been a single node in the game so far that has been three Avengers that you grind for in an event. I don't think so anyway. So I don't think you should be looking at her for that reason. You should be looking for her of like, I'm gonna be fighting Avengers and I want an interesting kind of unit to kind of do it. And I think she can definitely do that. It's kind of similar to how Summer BB. Summer BB has a whole bunch of crazy things to her kit to make up for the fact that she's not gonna be dealing that much damage unless you are specifically hyper tuning her to deal that much damage like a friend of mine who has a uh, summer bb he's like i i think i asked him how do you deal with your bb not doing enough damage and he said i got her to mp5 and you're like okay fair enough i'll shut up <laughs> i guess the technically there is a way of doing that so that that's janaka i do think she's a very good unit the thing is is that she is not um limited so I don't know if you, unless you're a huge Janako fan, there's not really a lot of reasons to go summoning. It's a lot better to just kind of like randomly get spooked by Janako or maybe use the ticket for him. Especially again, when we're so close to anniversary, you have to really pick and choose. And it's the, the easiest units to skip over are the ones that you have a chance to randomly get. Because I've heard plenty of reports of people going like, yeah, I failed to go for the unit I was going for, but then this random 5-star showed up. And I'm like, yeah, it's a 5-star. But also, I'm like, why did you show up now? <laughs> now is not the time to do it. They, they they typically show up when you least suspect it, and during the worst time for them to show up. But anyway, that's Janako. And now to talk about the other unit that should be coming up pretty soon. I actually had already recorded a separate video talking about him, but I may as well make another one because I didn't expect them to also release Janako at this time. Sherlock Holmes and also Siegfried. Um, I'll say the same thing I said about Siegfried. Siegfried is good. He's anti-dragon. He has been buffed about five, seven times or so. I think he's been buffed in every single, every single skill but the second skill because his MP has been buffed um, to help him. And he deals bonus damage against dragons, um, and he has a super cool summer. There you go. That's all you need. Siegfried. But he's also not limited. <laughs> Unless you're a big Sig head, there's no reason to go crazy looking for Siegfried parts. So if you're someone who's a huge fan of Siegfried, this is the banner, I guess, that you're waiting for. Next, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock Holmes is a... Okay, just making sure. Okay. I was making sure that no one was saying anything. Sherlock Holmes is a five-star ruler. He is a two quicks, two arts, one buster. Three hits on quick and arts, and four hits on buster with five hits on extra. Active skills are uh, natural insight, which he gets after his interlude. Um, seals one enemy's MP for one turn. Reduces all enemies' arts resistance for three turns, and then gains some crit stars. 20% to arts resistance and 22 stars on a cooldown of five. Second skill is the one who reveals the truth, EX, and this shows up when he gets a strengthening, which I believe he should already have. Yes, he got it with the chapter release. Um, the one who reveals truth, EX, charges on MP gauge, increases on crit star absorption for one turn, and grants self debuff immunity for three turns. 50% MP and the absorption is 600% on a cooldown of five, and before this, he did not have the MP gain. Third skill is Boritsu B++, it increases own arts performance for one turn and then grants self evasion for one turn. The arts increase is 50% and the cooldown is 5. Territory creation EX is his only passive skill. His third skill is an anti-berserker attack damage aptitude and his noble phantasm is elementary my dear. It's quite simple my friend. Anti-unit, anti-world, rank B. 
500% chance to reduce all enemies' defense for 3 turns, then grants the party ignore its ability and ignore defense for 3 turns. The MP level 1, it is the defense lowered is 30%, and at MP level 5, it is 50%. And then he increases party's critical damage for 3 turns. Uh, at charge level 1, it's 50%, and if you get him all the way to the final charge level, it is 100%. Um, and that is Sherlock Holmes. Uh, I think Sherlock is pretty good, similar to Janako. He has a very similar, he has to be used in a similar way, which is typically challenge quests, because he's a ruler, and rulers are very good at being uh, tanky and uh, taking a lot of damage, and that's specifically what he's for. But he's also here for, uh, he also has a second kind of niche in the ability to just completely ignore, give the party ignore invincibility and ignore defense. Which, on its surface, I think for some people will probably look at it and go like, oh, that's pretty good. But then, when you're actually fighting a boss, who is specific, whose main gimmick is just spamming the hell out of anything that gives them invincibility or evade, you're gonna be going, damn, I really wish I had Sherlock, which is what I've done in the past. As I've gone like, what unit can I use to make this boss less annoying? And if the answer was Sherlock, and I went, oh can't do that i guess i'll look for the ce that will do what his np does uh for that so i think for that reason um he ends up being pretty solid it's definitely a challenge quest type of unit you're never going to use him in uh farming scenarios because he's not built for farming <laughs> unless you really wanted to try i guess there has to be some way of doing it um if the if the last enemy is uh, a single, maybe like all one way. No, you'd have to be super crazy dedicated because the Baritza only lasts for one turn. He's meant to be used <laughs> for challenge quest type fights. And I think in those type of fights, he's going to end up being pretty, um, pretty good in those kind of scenarios. I think there are rulers. I think specifically Shi Huang Di might be a better kind of like ruler who specifically is there to like stall the game out, I think. But I still think Sherlock would have some specific use cases. Like I said, the NP giving the ability to just ignore um, ignore invincibility can become in pretty clutch when you're fighting against a boss who is just built to be annoying in terms of invincibility and also just spamming defense. There have been also fights where uh, typically it's against anyone who has Imperial Privilege because I think Imperial Privilege is the worst at this. Imperial pri Privilege, when you have it... Um, is like a 50 50 of like oh yeah sometimes you get a huge defense bonus but it's not all the time and then i have to wait like six turns to see if i can do it again the um uh, <laughs> when they're in the hands of the bosses typically they can spam that thing like three times in a row <laughs> and now you're dealing with a unit that has 150 percent defense for three turns so the ability to just ignore their defense and kind of just slap them through it would come in pretty damn handy and then also this party crit def damage up is pretty nice. And the fact that it's arts means that you can loop this, so it's possible to get to 100% crit damage. So I think Sherlock's pretty, uh, pretty cool unit to kind of mess around with and do things. Now here's the other thing that has to be brought up with Sherlock. And this might go into some Trom stuff, so... I changed my mind. Anyway, yeah, this is going to be the last banner for Sherlock Holmes. He has never come back on JP. He has yet to come back. The last banner he came in was Trom. And since then, he's only been featured on Lucky Bag Summonings. Uh, so this might, in fact, be your last chance of getting Sherlock Holmes. I don't know when he's going to come back on JP. And based off of some certain things of JP, I don't think he's going to come back at any point. It doesn't look very likely. Um, typically when a unit goes two plus years, there's a reason behind it. <laughs> Either because they forgot the unit, at least nowadays. In the old days, it used to be like any random ass unit would like not come back for like two plus years. Nowadays, I feel like it's more, there's a reason why they don't want to bring this unit back. Um, that's all speculation on my part anyway. Um... So yeah, this is going to be your last banner chance for Sherlock Holmes. So if you're someone who also already likes Sherlock Holmes and you want maybe more MP copies for whatever reason, uh, this would be your chance to, uh, this would likely be your last chance because again, only lucky bags going forward in the GSSR is where Sherlock is going to be, uh, which is kind of crazy. Um, something to definitely keep in mind. I really wish he didn't suddenly drop off the face of the earth right now. <laughs> Because it's a terrible time. Anniversary is very, very close. Anniversary is like... Let me see. 
one to maybe close to a month at least at least a month one two three four five like a week in like two weeks in a couple days i think like it's really close by you should really be saving and so it makes it so that a lot of the units if you're gonna pick them you're either picking them because you need them or you're picking them because you absolutely love them and you would like another chance at them if any unit that i ever talk about going forward does not meet either of those criteria do not summon <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Please do not summon. <laughs> We're so close to anniversary. And when if anniversary comes to Gauntlet, there are three banners for summer. If you don't care about any of that, then I guess, yeah, go ahead. Go crazy. Go nuts. What am I going to do to stop you? But if you're someone who is specifically like, I like to throw a random multi here and there, now is the time to actually buckle up and prepare for the future. Because it's coming. Cthune is coming. So... That's the video for today. Um, best of luck to you if you do end up going for Janako or Sherlock Holmes. Um, I think Sherlock should be at day roll today if it follows JP. Because on JP it went, um, Ruler Morty was on 2. It was on the 8th, and then this was on the 10th. And he came out for us yesterday, which would have been the 19th. So 21st at day roll is when Sherlock should be uh, should be showing up. And Janako is already... Um, um, Janako is already in the game. So best of luck to you guys. Uh, continue on saving up for anniversary. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Probably going to be recording something with Grailfront. Of trying to play the Grailfront with the new changed rules and everything. But that's it for now. I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.